Hey what's up YouTube? In this video I'll be showing you how to make your very own building site slash construction site for all of your city building needs. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make the site itself including a security office, a crane that you can actually get up inside of, although it is a long climb, an actual building going under construction with all of the details that you can see built into it. And I'll also show you all sorts of other little peripheral details that you can add to make this build feel a little bit more real. However, in this tutorial, I won't be showing you how to make any of these four vehicles, as I think it'd be better if they had their own separate tutorials. Which brings me on to this next part. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out so, so, so much. It really does. And if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, clicking that little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. Make sure all of the notifications are turned on. And if you do want to really help, watch as much of this video as you absolutely can. That is hugely massive it would really help me out also if you subscribe you'll be able to see each one of these vehicles get released onto the channel over the next week or so there may even be more than just these four we have a dump truck a cement mixing lorry we have a bulldozer and we also have a steamroller. And then I kind of ran out of room on the building site for more vehicles. But I think that I'm going to design a couple more as well. Including an excavator and I might also do a crane truck. But we'll have to see. Also, when I do make tutorials for all of these vehicles and possibly some others that aren't here. They will be in the card system, the description below. And I will more than likely link them at the top of the comment section too. So you'll be able to find them really easily. But I've been talking long enough, let's get this thing rolling. Haha, <laughs> puns. The amount of space required to make your build is a 41 by 44 block area. Now, if you want to save yourself a little bit of hassle, but you can do this after you have built everything, I'd recommend before, but you can do this after, I would recommend placing a 41 by 44 block smooth stone grid in your world you can see the outline of the grid is smooth stone now at the front of the grid we have four rows of smooth stone in total starting from the bottom moving backwards now the rest of it you can simply make sand and that will help you a little bit later on instead of having to dig in amongst and around the various things that we are going to be putting in our building site. However, not mandatory. If you like, just mark out a 41 by 44 block area in your world. Just make sure that you've got enough room. Here are all of the materials that we will be using throughout the build. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So for those of you that have built the grid, come all the way to the front left hand corner of it. Count backwards, one, two. And then we want to begin by placing a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue concrete extending backwards. Next to that seventh blue concrete, we want to place a door on the ground. Left of the door, three blue concrete, one, two, three, and then move forwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, and join back to where we first started to make a rectangle. So for this rectangle, we are going to have a window on the front. This is going to be on the three middle block, so you can make this out of glass pane. And to the right here, we are going to have a gap. So if you like, you can just mark that out with a single glass or two glasses. The rest of this, we want to place one, two, three 
blue concrete on top of everything else. So, we just want to, in amongst the glass, on top of the glass, above the door, absolutely everywhere, we want to have ourselves... Uh, we just want to have ourselves blue concrete and this is just a little security station not uncommon on building sites at all um, Just to make sure that nobody uh, Nobody gets in here and by the way I'm going to extend this window up an additional row. I was thinking I'll just have one row of a window, but then I, I think that might look a little bit odd, so we'll have two rows. The top of this is also going to be filled in with blue concrete too, and there we go. We have our little security station. We'll be filling that in a little bit later on. So, directly next to the security station, here to the right, where we have this window, I want to place a light grey concrete on the ground. Right of it, red another brick wall. On top, die right. Red, die right. That's just a little barrier. So, the point of the little barrier is that it basically allows us to control what comes in and out of the construction site. Leaving a gap of three, so right of the barrier, we want to literally leave a gap of one, two, three in the ground, and on this fourth block, mark it out with a light grey concrete. Leave a gap of four, one, two, three, four, light grey concrete. And we want to keep repeating this pattern until we extend all the way over to the right of our grid. This is a very important part of the build. So this is going to make the chain link fence around our building site. So you can see spaced evenly rows of four in between light grey. This wants to persist towards the back of the build as well. So all the way along the outline pretty much you want to count out rows of four and then place a light grey. Rows of four, light grey, rows of... You, you guys get the idea, right? So we want to do this all the way along the back. Now is yep perfect so that I'd, i've made the grid correctly that's always a nice sign this wants to come along the back of the build and then we're going to do it towards the front of the build as well the chain link fence connects to the i i, I don't know whether to call it a porter cabin a security office whatever it might be um we want to connect to that with fence so it's going to be that the last light grey concrete that we would want to place evenly spaced throughout everywhere, so here, this would be here. D does that make sense? So, like, the last light grey concrete that you would place would be here, connecting back to the office. So, this is what we want to have. It's looking pretty decent because we already have the sand down. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this is looking already. So, the next thing that we want to do is we want to extend... By the way, this is, this is not a fun part of the build. We want to extend all of the light grey concretes upwards by two rows. So every single one of those upwards by two rows. I, I, I don't think I could say it any more clearly. Unfortunately, that is what we've got to do. And something else that isn't fun <laughs> is once we have completely added two of... Uh, once we have added two light grey concretes on top of every single one of these outer light grey concretes, we will in between them place iron bars to create the kind of like, it's, it's not like a proper fence. And by the way, there's going to be two rows of the iron bars. So if one can imagine, don't have to imagine it, you can see it quite clearly here. This is how the fence is going to look, but everywhere. So I think I'm just going to add the first row and then I'm going to go all the way around. So um, if you can imagine, I mean, I'm sure that you guys have seen it. I don't know quite how to explain it other than like, it's meant to look like a temporary fence. It's not meant to be like permanent. Like uh, I'm sure that you guys will have seen these out in the world sometime. Like that, the, like the, you can take this sort of fence down easily. Like they're all made out of individual parts and it just seems like the right sort of uh, boundary for our uh, building site um, and this is going to actually you know what these are permanent because these are going to stay up permanently because the, the building site is never going to get worked on the, <laughs> the construction will never be complete so here we go perfect so you can see we've added one row we've just got to go all the way around and uh, we've just got to do it again so 
if you hadn't at this point, so if you haven't at this point filled in the middle of your construction site with sand, it's not a bad time to do it. The reason that I suggested doing it like before we even started like marking out the area with smooth stone, um, adding the, I believe it's four rows at the front and then the rest of it being sand other than the outline of course. The reason that I suggested that is because the just all of the things that we, we have to work around, like there's a lot of stuff on the ground in the construction site, um, including the giant building that we're going to make it itself, like all of the girders and concrete floors, like you'll have to get under there, you'll have to like dig in between all of the foundation and it's it's just annoying to have to place like a floor that way. So it's not impossible, it's not like, you know, th there's no reason that you can't do it, it's just that I... Having done that myself, like, I'd rather have the floor placed beforehand. But you'll see what I'm talking about as we progress. So, perfect. That's what we have. We have kind of, like, the security office. We've kind of got the entrance down. And now we have all of the uh, the boundaries. So, I'm really, really happy with that. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come all the way over to the back right-hand corner of the build. And, once again, we're going to work on quite a tedious project. I'm sorry, but, you know, we're starting this off. We're starting this off with the worst parts, and it can only get better. So, in the back right right hand corner of your construction site where we have the sand we want to have diagonally from the light gray corner we want to leave a go a row of one two three four we want to leave a gap of four and then we want to place a red concrete left of this we want to leave a gap of four one two three four red concrete leave a gap of four one two three four red concrete and once more one two three four red concrete you'll notice that this lines up with the chain link fence now in front of this row of red concrete we want to leave gaps of four and then we want to place another row of red concrete in front of this so we want to make a grid and not only do we want to do that once and not only do we want to do that twice, but we want to do that three times in total. We want to have a rather large red concrete grid that should look like this. And this is going to form the, uh, the foundation for like those red steel girders. And on top of each one of these red concretes, we're going to place an additional red concrete like this. So on top of every single one of these. And... It, it just takes a little while because, well, everything in this project thus far has taken a little while, but we want to add all of these. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a layer of stone around the outside of this. So this is going to look like a floor. So it's kind of subjective what this build would be. You know, like it's it maybe some sort of office building. It could be some sort of house. It could be it could be a, a big giant high rise or a skyscraper scraper who knows what the start of this would be so um once we have placed smooth uh, stone on top of all of the concrete we now want to on top of all of these outer concretes we want to place three more red concrete so one two three and then we'll be placing another layer of stone three more red concrete one two three stone and then two red concrete one two so that is the makeup there you go, perfect. And you can make that higher or lower, by the way, taller or smaller. It doesn't really matter. You can even just have the foundation, if you like, if you want to make a few of these in your city. And the point of this is that we want to have... I mean, you can see the makeup like we have... It wants to look as though that we're making a building with loads of floors. And um, maybe because you know how the top, it's only like uh, two red concretes instead of like three for the other floors. Maybe it's not done. Maybe it's going to be taller. Maybe Maybe you want to build this a little bit messier so what that might mean is perhaps you want to have it so that like the front half is done but the back half hasn't been worked on yet like if you wanted to you could meld this you could shape shift this build into a few different uh, versions of itself if that makes sense so like if you wanted to have a construction orientated part of your city where things are getting thrown up left right and center buildings are getting made all sorts of businesses and stuff then you could adapt this build to uh, instead of like repeating the same thing over and over again because if i was building a city and i was building like a uh, um a housing estate or you know if it was perhaps a business state an industrial park or something then you know not all of the buildings are going to strictly look the exact same 
Um, so you, you might want to build a few of these in the course of your city, and you might want to make them all a little bit different. You can shuffle the park around a bit, so the park, the building site around a bit. You could have this over here or towards the front or whatever, you know. I, hopefully, I'm not just rambling on. Hopefully, I'm making some sense. I'm going to raise up the middle red concretes to equal the height of the red concretes around. This is because... It doesn't matter if you see the... It, it doesn't matter about the middle red concretes because they're going to be covered up with stone. However, we didn't have the same luxury for the red concretes on the outer part. And I didn't want it to... I wanted the stone in between the red concretes. I didn't want um, these... I, I, I didn't want there just to be like long rows of red concrete with like stone on the inside of it because that didn't make sense. I, I kind of like it like this rather than um, if it was say like this, you know? But I mean, feel free to swap it if you like, if you like that look better. I like to see the individual levels, but you know, that's just me. And um, I suppose if you wanted to, you could even just leave the floors hollow. But one of the more fun parts uh, of the build, or at least one of the more fun parts for me, is filling in this little area. So not this part that we're about to do, which is fill it in with um, stone. So every single one of the levels, the horizontal rows of stone that we have placed in between all of the red concretes, they want to be filled in with stone. They they actually want to be like actual walk around floors. Um, and the reason being is... We, uh, the the cool part about this is that we have ladders and we have like walkways onto each individual level and we can decorate each level in kind of like a construction-y sort of way. Now this, it actually requires a lot of different materials and maybe you guys will even have some more ideas than, than I do on how you can decorate it. So, you know, as we get to that part, I'll stop being a little bit less vague and I'll be able to show, you know, what I'm actually talking about. But the reason that I like this particular part of the build, not not actually this, literally building this, I mean this is a little bit tedious, but actually decorating it is really, really fun because you get to use your little, you get to use your imagination a little and uh, you get to kind of like figure out what, so what, what would be on this floor, like what, what, what would look good in a construction environment and um, yeah, I, I, I had fun with the decoration of this. Uh, and the crane as well. I really like building the crane. I don't know why. Uh, my two favourite parts of this build is like decorating this, and I really like the crane next to it. Um, I don't know why. Uh, what was your favourite part of this build, if you like this? But hopefully if you're building it, you like it. Um, what's your favourite part of the build? I'd, I would probably say that... Um, I don't know, I do have a thing for the crane, I don't even know why, that sounds like such a weird thing to say too, but um, I think that really just adds to the build. I was considering not having a crane whatsoever on the building site, but it just seemed to really pull it together, as do all of the vehicles that we are going to be adding, although that's going to be separate tutorials, because um, I just think uh, that, that they would be standalone, um, they would make good standalone tutorials as well, like we have... You may have seen in the thumbnail, and I'm not sure how this video is going to be structured, but you will have at the very least seen, I think, four construction vehicles. And um, those can be added to the build rather easily. There's like spaces for each one of them. Um, but I'm also designing a couple more as well. So we have like a steamroller, we have a bulldozer, we have a cement truck, we have a dump truck, um, and I have, um, I think it's called, I'd, I've also designed an excavator, but I also want to design a crane lorry as well, a crane truck, if that makes sense. So you know how kind of like we've got the crane here already like or we will have we've already got a crane that's going to go on the building site i want one that's like portable and um i think it's also like the kind of thing that you can attach like a wrecking ball to and all sorts of stuff so i'm, I'm working on that too so a load of vehicles that can go with this build and um, they would actually go like all here um when we eventually get to it but yes there we go very, very tedious part of the build complete, but I'm I'm very happy with how this is getting constructed. I'm very happy with the construction of this build. So, the next thing that we are going to do is I think that we're going to put the walkway um, for 
what we've just made. So we're going to grab oak wood planks, oak wood stairs, oak fence, polished diorite stairs, rail, smooth quartz st uh, slab, um, smooth stone, yellow concrete, gray concrete. And we're going to make kind of like the passages that we will get up and down um, the kind of like building. So uh, I'm going to start off all the way over here, like on the front right hand corner of this build here. I'm going to take this red concrete and I'm going to place a couple of... Um, a couple of oak stairs extending outwards. Oak fence behind, oak stairs on top. Oak fence behind, oak stairs on top. Couple of rows of oak planks behind this, and then I'm going to connect all of this down to the ground using oak fence. I think an oak fence because it's like a temporary sort of structure, like it's kind of like the easiest thing to do. So this is how we would get onto the first floor. Now, my idea would be that in the back right-hand corner here, we have a similar sort of thing. So here we have a couple of stairs extending outwards from the uh, red concrete here. Oak fence behind. And then, whoops, my bad, hang on. Oak stairs. Oak fence. Oak stairs. And then we've got to, like, dig into the top of this. And we want to have oak stairs at the very top here. Perfect. And that allows us to walk up and onto here. And I'm just going to add more fence just below all of these stairs. Just like this. Perfect. And that's how I like it. So perfect. It just looks like a nice set of temporary stairs. We only have to do this once more. And I'm going to do it on the front left hand corner of the build now. So kind of like back front corner, back corner, and then I'm swapping sides over here. So I'm going to have a couple of oak stairs, oak fence behind, oak stairs, oak fence, and then oak stairs. Dig into the ceiling a little bit. We'll have to knock out a couple of stone here. And then we need oak fence connecting all of this down. And that this is how we're going to leave this part of the build at the moment. Is we're just going to leave it like this so we can get up and down the entire structure. We will be decorating that a little bit later on. But first, I want to uh, I want the crane and I want some of the other peripherals around the construction site. So. Next to this area here, I like the idea of some just giant metal pipes being here. So this is made out of polished diorite stairs. And first of all, we place them along this area here. You can even poke out of the back if, if you like. It doesn't really matter that much. The stairs against this. And then against the stairs, we want to have like an opposite facing set of stairs. And then above each set of stairs, we want to have upside down stairs. So here. And then it gets tricky to place these. So sometimes it's easier to start off with a guiding block. And then upside down stair, upside down, upside down. And sometimes, honestly, with the time it takes to kind of like precisionly place these, or to precisely place these, I should say, my bad, with any sort of precision, it's easier to place like a guiding row, which we're going to have to do for this next part. But the point of this is that it looks like a, a giant metal pipe, so that could be used for anything. I don't know construction very well, but, you know, stuff... I'm going to dig a little bit into the ground here, and I'm going to place some upside-down diorite. So I want a smaller pipe next to the large pipe, and I'm placing a row of yellow concrete next to the diorite that I placed in the ground, and I want to place upside-down diorite stairs against this, like so. Now, the reason for this is that it just looks like a smaller version of the pipe, right? And we can uh, attach this down, and, or rather we can kind of like batten this down using rails, like make it look as though it's tied together and secure. And it, it just adds to the area, like you, if you want to repeat that, you can place some over here if you like. I'm going to be placing some wood also, adding like attaching rails and stuff. Like um, th there's plenty of places you could use this. You could even have a, more of it over here if you want to. I don't think it will get in the way. Maybe we'll do just like a small smaller amount of it but um, there's no reason that you uh, you couldn't have more of this if you wanted to so I don't know whether I'll regret this and the cool thing about this is and with this being Minecraft is we can just check if we don't like it we'll just change it later it, it doesn't even matter so we can just have this maybe just a pipe maybe we don't have to repeat kind of like the 
Um, maybe we don't have to repeat the thing over there. Maybe we've just got a, just a big bit of pipe over there. Just why not? Just leave it over there. That's that's okay. Maybe I should have made some porta potties actually. Maybe I'll see if I can design any any of those because that'd also be useful for some other builds as well. So now that we've done that. Um, the next thing is that we want to build kind of like the foundation for the crane. So if you come to the back left-hand corner of your build and you count right one, two, three, four, five, and then inwards one, two, three, and then place yourself a smooth quartz slab. Extend forwards one, two, three, four, five, right by five, one, two, three, four, five, and then extend back and join back. Fill the middle of this in using smooth stone, like this. And then also, I, I would recommend like adding a stair or something back here, whether that wants to be a diorite stair or you can use a smooth stair, a smooth quartz uh, stair if you like. And this is basically the foundation for the crane. So the crane's relatively easy to make, hopefully, the way that I've done it is. Um, I want you to take each one of the four corners of this smooth stone here, and I want you to place 15 yellow concrete on top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And we're going to do this on every single one of these corners, just like this. So every single one of the corners. And we're going to slowly build up the frame frame for the crane. So here. And if you're curious, why is there a stair here at the back? It's so that we can actually get up to the crane. You can actually get inside the... I don't know what you'd call it, the piloting pit for the crane. I don't even know, whatever you would call it. So, um, at the, from the bottom of the crane, we want to add some horizontal bars of yellow concrete. So, um, we want to leave gaps of two extending all the way up to the top of the crane, like this. And we want to have horizontal rows of yellow concrete. So, ju just like this. And we just want to have all of these separations all the way through the middle of the crane just like this and this is going to be kind of like the base of the crane uh i'm sick of saying the word crane <laughs> it's starting to lose all meaning in my mind you know when you say a word too much and then it's like what does that even mean anymore that's that's what the word crane is doing so i'm going to get rid of all of these materials and let's grab stuff that i know that we will need so we'll definitely be needing all of the quartz blocks smooth quartz blocks stairs and slabs we will be needing light gray concrete we will be needing glass glass pane a door and we need we need quite a few things for the crane quite honestly but let's ju let's just leave it at that for the moment so at the top of the crane Top left hand corner here in front, upside down quartz stairs. Extend left one, extend right one. To the right of this, we're going to place one, two, three light grey concretes and we're going to add two rows on top. One, two. Just like this. We're going to extend the light grey concrete backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like this. So it overhangs the back of the crane. And we want to kind of like make the light grey concrete solid. So this is kind of like... I don't know what part of the crane this is exactly. This is based on like a, a little crane that I kind of like googled. And um, kind of like, um, you know, interpreted into Minecraft. Um, we might even have to extend the light grey concrete. Actually, if we extend the light grey concrete forwards. Because it, it does want to overhang the uh, the kind of like control area. And then if we shave a row off here. That, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. So... There we go. That's that's a little bit better, I think. We might end up adding more light grey concrete. But this, this is kind of like what we want to have so far. And then we can kind of make uh, like the control area. So extending behind this upside down stairs here, we want to place one, two, three, four quartz, uh, quartz blocks. Then an upside down stairs. And then probably knock out this top row of yellow concrete, replace it with quartz, and actually, you know, do the same, like, um, make all of this quartz, leave a gap of one here in the back, because that's where the stairs is going to be, and then we've got the upside down stairs here, and then, um, we can, what can we do? Yeah, okay, so the, the door would go here, right, so this is where the door would be, and then on the back, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz block, stairs, stairs, just like this. And then we want to have kind of like a row of one, two, three um, quartz, extend up one, leave a gap, quartz, leave a gap, quartz, quartz stair, quartz stair. 
The front of this is just going to be glass, like this. We want the side panel to be glass, so that can either be glass paint or glass block. This left part here wants to be glass, so it wants to be a lot of glass all around this, just like so. And then we're going to place um, smooth quartz slabs on top of the entire part here, just like this. And I don't know whether to kind of like place one here too. I mean, it looks at, that looks as though it makes sense there. And that we also now have to make more parts of the crane. So kind of like this is obviously this is where the all the controls are. We'll be adding a ladder to this later. We'll be adding like a seat and a lever and all sorts of stuff. But um, if you grab yourself the yellow concrete and a grey concrete, the front part of the crane here, we want to from the top two corners of the light grey concrete area, we want to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yellow concretes extending outwards like this. So eight of them in total. Join them together at the end. Extend the end corners down by two. One, two, one, two. Join them together. Join them back to the light grey concrete area, just like, well, my bad, just like this. And then we want to have the same sort of separations that we have for the base. We want to leave like a gap of two, yellow, gap of two, yellow. And we want to place bars of yellow concrete all the way through this, just like so. Perfect. So this, this is kind of like what we want to have so far. Then we want to take the top two corners of the end of the yellow concrete, the end of the crane here, and extend them forwards. One, two, one, two join together, extend the middle forwards, grey concrete underneath it, that's perfect, and then for the grey concrete we want to add, uh, we need chain and polished stairs, and uh, polished and side stairs, oh we need a hopper too, do I not have a hopper? Huh, I don't have a, guys I don't have a hopper, we need a hopper desperately, so hang on, where's... We we only need one of these throughout the build, unless we want to put, add some to the construction, so I could swear I had a hopper. So we want to add a hopper underneath the grey concrete area here, and then we want to place chain underneath the hopper. Now, the tricky part about that is um, we actually have to crouch, I do believe, or at least you do on Java, and then we can place a chain, and then a, a few more chains. Well, it doesn't even matter, like, if you want, you can just leave it like that, or you can kind of like extend the chain and you can have, why not have a link of three? One, so we already had one, that'll be two and then that'll be three. And then add an upside down polished and then sight stair underneath it. And then that kind of looks like a hook or something like that. It might even, yeah, I mean, that's that's fine. It, it, if you want, it might even look a little bit more like a hook if you placed it this way. I mean, you know, but it, it doesn't even matter. And also, the hook would probably be placed inverse, like, so this way. So towards the crane, really, if we wanted to. But I d it doesn't matter. It's a very small detail. Have, have it whichever way you want. Now, when it comes to the top of the crane also, we want to have like the, this part of the crane here, we want to extend some yellow concrete up above it so that it gives the sensation that, sensation, so it gives the illusion that perhaps this can be moved up and down so the crane can be like adjusted. And um, basically, just behind this smooth slab here that we have above the window, if we destroy behind it, place a yellow concrete, gap of one to the right, yellow concrete, gap of, gap of one, two going backwards, so actually no, it's a gap of two, my bad, so we leave a gap of two, one, two, and then yellow concrete, gap of two, yellow concrete, gap of two, yellow concrete, so we just have to destroy that above the door, so you can see that it's almost as if we have extended the foundation, add yellow concrete on top of each one of these, and then we kind of like want to join all of these together with a square of yellow concrete just all the way around the top. So kind of like here, here, and here. I mean, we could even destroy the top of this as well, so to kind of like leave it open. And then, to me, that gives the illusion that that can like move up and down and stuff. Um, maybe I'm crazy, I don't know. And then uh, behind the light grey concrete here at the back, we want to add a little bit more of a frame as well. We want to add one, two, three, at least three, one, two, three um, yellow concretes extending backwards out the corner. So all of these, just like this. And that's looking pretty good. And, and honestly, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much 
the crane mostly complete. Now, we do have a couple more details to add to it, but I don't want to grab those materials just yet. Because I think that we could... Oh, actually, we already have it. We already have some, but that's perfect. We need acacia wood stairs, a lever, item frame, yellow concrete. So, the item frame... No, yellow concrete, come back. So, for the item frames, um, I like the idea of just having kind of like lights on the crane. So, a couple of item frames in the bottom corner with some yellow concretes in there. Um, inside the crane, uh, we need to have a seat and kind of like a lever to control things. So, you can actually like sit in here and you can actually like, well... You can't move the crane about, but you guys get the idea. You've got the illusion that you can, and um, that's pretty cool. Alternatively, if you wanted to, if you if you weren't bothered about being inside of here, then you could just seal this up. Use it. I've, I've locked myself in here now. But if you wanted to, you could like seal this side up. And if if all you were bothered about was like getting in and being able to like look behind the seat, but I think it's cool to be able to actually like get into the the seat so to speak and kind of have a look around maybe i don't oh, know maybe i'm silly i i like that fact we need ladders as well of course so i am going to grab those just quickly um they'll probably be in the item i'm sure there will have been so we'll have the ladders in the item list and this can run all the way up the back and then that's how we get like in and out of the crane i just think that that is one of the cooler parts of the construction site so we're making really, really good progress here. Really, really happy. Um, just a couple more things that I want to do with the current materials we have before we've got to dump them out. Inside of the security office here, uh, I just want to grab light grey concrete and some acacia stairs. Light grey concrete, I want to place it around the like the left side of the cabin and towards the front. And I want to stick a chair in here. So that's an acacia wood stair. Just a chair in here. And we already have the door in place. And honestly, that, unless we've got slabs... Oh, we've, we've got ourselves some smooth stone slabs as well. So in front of the crane, I, I like the idea of there being like a big giant wet piece of... Um, wet piece, wet patch of concrete. So in front of the crane, I'm going to leave a gap of two. And then I'm going to place a, an area of smooth slabs that is wider by one than the crane itself. Like left and right, wider by one. Extend these smooth slabs forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like this. Extend stand join everything together just like this and that is just in front of the crane and um, that's just like a big patch of concrete and then we are also going to have a couple more like pieces of floor decoration and then we would have the vehicles here and then that's actually like the construction site will look really really quite full now ladies and gentlemen i'm going to wipe all of these materials out I'm sure that I'm going to be needing some of them again. I am absolutely almost certain of it. But I want to grab everything else that hopefully will allow us to finish off the building site once and for all. So give me a second to gather them and then I'll show you what I've got. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that I figured out everything that we're going to need to finish off the build, although it's very possible that you may want to grab a wider variety of materials to decorate the particular little part of the build behind me right there but we'll discuss that at a later time so to start off with we're going to grab gray carpet strip spruce logs rail cyan shulker box light blue shulker box if you don't have shulker boxes um feel free to use concrete lantern flower pot daisies it doesn't matter grab any flower and birch trap doors we'll also be using all of the other materials that you can see in the inventory do feel free to pause if you need to grab everything that you see okay so Grey, grey carpet, what's it for? It's to fill in the concrete area. So inside the smooth slab area here, we're just going to be adding grey carpet and that is going to look like wet cement. So I like saying cement instead of cement. I don't know why it sounds better. So some wet cement looking pretty good. Um, this area in front of the cement slash cabin area here, I'm just going to stack some logs. So I'm specifically using stripped spruce logs here, and I just want to... How, how did that happen? We can cover that up, that's okay. So if we extend this backwards a little bit, and then if we add like another row of stripped spruce just there, there we go, we don't need we don't need sand. So I'm just going to um, add a just a few kind of like bunches of stripped um, spruce logs here, kind of like a, it's just gonna be all bundled together using some rails. So can we, 
yeah, we can add one here, and then if we can add like one all over them, um, it it just looks like a a construction material. So like just a big bunch of logs, you can place that there if you wanted to. You could place it there. You can place it along the back. You can add a couple of logs here and about the place if you like. I mean, we could even decorate this area with them here if we wanted to. We could have just like a couple of logs just laid out if we wanted to. Um, do bear in mind once again that this area here is going to be filled in with vehicles so that's why it looks a little bit bare however this area over here is going to be oh what are they called um you know those big giant like metal content shipping container shipping containers it's just going to look like a big giant shipping container that will obviously have materials in it of some sort so basically if if you come all the way over to uh the right front side of your construction site and you find the one two the second light gray concrete area inwards the second like part of the fence and extend like the sand in front of it extend outwards diagonally towards the back of the construction yard here boom this is the starting position place a light blue shulker box and then one to the left of it two cyan two light blue two cyan two light blue across the back Three light blue, one, two, three. Extend forwards, one light blue, two cyan, two light blue, two cyan, two light blue. Join back together. Boom, there you go. These want to be four rows high in total, so I've already got one, two, three, four. Then I'd recommend standing on this row of four and then just go around and fill this in. So um, if you are, for some reason, doing this in survival, number one, well done. Number two, feel free to substitute shulker boxes because I know that it can be quite a, uh, you know, something to get a hold of. Feel free to substitute it with... Well, I mean, coloured sand, wool, concrete, you know, whatever is a similar sort of colour, like, I, specifically this sort of colour in particular I really like for this, so I, I probably wouldn't compromise on on the colour, so, you know, it whatever you can find that is a similar colour to this, I mean, you could even use, like, warped wood maybe, and maybe something else, but, yeah, I, I really like that, I like the texture of it as well, especially, like, when you look at it from kind of afar, I quite like it. So, now that we've done that, in Inside here, inside the little security office, I'm going to add like a potted plant, uh, a lantern, and I want to have like a computer, a little laptop. So that's going to be a birch trap door, kind of like flipped up the side here. And then in front of the trap door is going to be a painting, and in front of that is going to be a weighted pressure plate. So a painting, weighted pressure plate looks like a little computer. Unfortunately, I can't have it facing towards the seat because, um, well, it... it it just doesn't work so yeah i'm pretty happy with this little security office now um if we wanted to we could even have like a i mean depending upon how crazy you want to go with this I'd, i haven't planned for this but you could even add like a brewing stand in here and you could add like a like if you wanted like just something to like make a drink or something if you if you did want to it it doesn't really matter but um yeah or you could even like it wouldn't be uncommon for like security people to like sit and read books as well so um it would make sense if uh if you had somewhere like just a book a laptop uh, somewhere to have drinks and stuff like it it just makes sense like it, if you wanted to decorate the area a little bit more it's no big deal it's it's kind of up to you so what's next we've actually kind of completed everything but the like the building part and i know I'd, i've said this a few times already but i'm going to say it once more this area here is going to be filled with vehicles so that that's why that that looks a little bit lost and empty but i actually quite like the decoration so far so i'm gonna now move on to the actual like the big construction part of this and i'm gonna grab smooth stone slabs and i'm gonna grab gray carpet to start off with on every single level i want there to kind of like be a cement patch because it kind of like boxes things in a little bit so the back corner here for instance i'm going to connect these two girders together using smooth stone and then i'm going to connect the the front two pairs of girders like together as well kind of like in an outline a big rectangle kind of like this and i'm going to fill this in using gray carpet so again it's, it's just going to look like wet cement um, and it just it fills in a good portion of the area i think it looks really good and it kind of adds a little bit of structure 
to the build. So I really like there being like a, a patch here, like a C. I mean, it just it just kind of looks a little bit, it, it just looks cool. I, I really like it. So like on the next level, I'm going to have the same thing, um, except I'm going to have it kind of like in the middle. So next to the stairs here, I'm going to connect the middle part together. And I'm so basically, you've kind of got to like walk around the outside of the second floor. So all of this is go just going to be joined together and then we'll have the gray carpet. And then at the top, we're going to have a giant patch of cement. And of course, feel free to do this in a completely different way. You know, feel free to decorate it in a different way. It's just that I, I really like this. I, I think that it adds a lot to the build in particular. Like, it just looks as though that, I don't know, it, it just looks good to me. Now, on the top here, I like the idea of there being kind of like a curved shape. And this could be kind of like the layout for a wall, or it could be like, it, it doesn't matter what this actually represents. It's um, it's just like a cool bit of decoration. And on the top, I mean, you don't even have to have it filled in yet if you don't want to. You can kind of just like leave the outline. That's also a very valid possibility. And then all, we've just got to decorate this. So like you can, you can use lanterns, you can use fire pots to decorate this. We can use ladders, scaffolding, crafting tables, cartography tables, flushing tables, smithing tables. We can even use like... Um, um, cauldrons and that they actually they work very nicely um on the outside of here like if you wanted to you could add like so like scaffolding as kind of like a, a well a scaffolding <laughs> like um it, it makes sense to have scaffolding on kind of like a construction site like this you can have it like built up towards the side of the top just here you can you can add scaffolding like inside like kind of like around um, you could add it to every single level if you wanted to. So, like, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. So, like, the one here, kind of like, you're, you're just going to want to be very liberal with your use of um, construction materials. Like, construction sites, building sites, I mean, it's literally like, when you hear the phrase, it looks like a building site in there, like, it's, it's it, they're messy, you know, like, they... They are just messy, so like lanterns can hang everywhere. Um, we can have it's also because it's a, a site, because it's a construction site. Like not everything has to make sense exactly. So you, like you can have just ladders here, just up the side. I mean, why not? Like you can have ladders. You could you could have like ladders here, for instance. Um, it it doesn't have to make a great deal of sense because there might be a reason for it. You know, it, 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 you don't really have to rationalize any of it. So we can have a couple of crafting tables laid out. We can have like a cartography table here. We can have like a fleshing table here. You don't even have to do this to every single level if you don't want to. Also, it doesn't matter if you place multiple tables next to multiple tables. It, it doesn't matter. You, you just want to decorate it in such a way that you're happy with it. So so what is the cauldrons? I actually like the rationale of this. So if you grab a cauldron, my bad cauldron, water bucket, item frame, and a uh, shovel, this looks like um, how you would mix some cement up so that it would make sense next to these like cement patches to have kind of like shovels and to have um, cement. And you could even have like uh, composters kind of look like bags. Um, so you could have like composters in here and you could actually, uh, we have some daisies don't we, so you could actually fill these up, we've got water, this kind of looks like a cementish sort of mix, if you wanted to, you don't have to have this many of anything, and you know, it, it just makes, it's just a cool bit of decoration, so just, I mean, you can just have one if you want, you don't even need the composter, you don't need the water, you don't need it doesn't matter it, again like you could just throw them in the middle here it, it, whatever just it, item frames about the place shovels kind of laid lazily a water bucket here a water bucket there a composter just i don't know here why not whatever um what else can you have like again if you want more tools so item frames axes yeah um, Comparators, iron bars, oak trap doors, brown shulker boxes. So brown shulker boxes just look like boxes. So literally stuff that you would store things in. Um, redstone comparators, of course, they look... I mean, not only could you use redstone comparators, but you could use... Uh, where is it? I mean, strings also, come to, come to think about it, look like wires, right? So like, you could have, if you wanted to, kind of like along the ground, you could have... 
I mean, it, they're barely visible. This is why I grabbed the redstone, though. So, like, it, it makes sense to have, like, wires kind of, like, strewn about the place as well. You know, like, uh, maybe, like, an uh, item frame and an axe here. If you wanted kind of, like, a cutting table of some sort, maybe kind of, like, a couple of iron bars put together, and then a few trap doors spread over them, kind of like this. It kind of looks like a work table of some description. You know, a comparator couple of it doesn't even have to be a comparator you could have daylight sensors and stuff kind of like thrown about the place kind of like item frames just axes in them just shulker boxes just whatever you like i mean how's how's it looking from the outside it's looking nice and busy i, I quite like it um we can have just on a table or so like a, a comparator here we can have a comparator over here like it uh, we, we can have, what what else makes sense, up here? like anvils make sense, grindstones make sense, even a leg turn sort of makes sense, you know, it makes sense to have jukeboxes too, so that the, they can listen to music, so droppers and hoppers, it, like, it, whatever, like, uh, like a dr dropper here, or may actually maybe a jukebox here, maybe a grindstone, maybe a ladder off here and grindstone up there, maybe an anvil down here, maybe even down here. Um, maybe more music up here somewhere, so maybe on top of the here, maybe a, a hopper, May, maybe a, a dropper, <laughs> maybe a, where could one of these go, a dispenser up here, you know, maybe a lectern, where, where could this go, uh, getting a bit busy over here, but maybe a couple of lecterns over here, you know. Uh, maybe a hopper here, a again, I, I, f I feel as though that I'm adding loads and loads of loads of stuff and we could have stopped any at any point there like it it did it doesn't matter oh oh it's so one thing that i do really like stone cutter i really like th this as a decoration absolutely so maybe like a stone cutter up here for instance maybe um anywhere near the wood would make sense as well but it, again it's it, it doesn't matter maybe even like one visible like kind of on the side here maybe even like one here as well um, again, it doesn't matter. I keep repeating myself at this point. I'm sorry about that, but I really like that. That that looks so busy. That looks. I really, really like that. I think that that's been decorated wonderfully. And ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we've kind of completed our building site now. There's nothing left to add to it except for vehicles, which are going to be separate tutorials. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what your construction site should look like, or something very close to it, because yours might look a little bit different from mine, depending upon the kind of decorations that you've added. This is what it should look like once it's been 100% fully completed. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I really, really enjoyed designing and making this. If you did enjoy it, please do remember to hit that like button. It really helps me in the channel out very, very, very much. If you're new around here, please do comment consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system, the description below, and the top of the comment section for more. Specifically, the City Builds playlist. That is going to have loads and loads and loads of brand new content added every single week. So keep an eye out for it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Good. Bye. I'm in a crane.